your girl mickey truth aka the queen of paperwork and welcome back to mickey truth voice of truth y'all today we gonna get into a topic that has definitely caught my eye okay because it's an often situation where you be like do you really have to stand down when it comes to your mother-in-law or the mother of your significant other okay and we definitely gonna have to take it to the most vocal almost <laughs> right mother-in-law that we know in reality TV. And that's Mama D, okay? Because we know one thing about Mama D, she don't play about her son Scrappy, okay? Now, also, we know Bambi definitely is going to speak her her mind and her truth. So, let's get into the audio. And then y'all already know I'm going to voice my truth on the situation for sure. He's in the hot tub with all these men. And when Rashida took up for him, I'm like, Rashida, you about a few minutes. And Kirk had a... <laughs> Look the other way. You might have been got too, girl. Okay? Come on now. We know how Kirk can be. So, you know, don't be all on Bambi's side because you're going to want... Okay, now. All right, now. Don't get a taste taste of that when somebody gets you again with your man. I'm telling you, you got to be careful. You can't take up for lying women. Because you... He, he was a few inches from being got his goddamn self. You remember that? Now, tell me a lie. Tell me I'm lying. Okay? It's just that... And Benzino hit it that night. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mama D is talking her talk. Okay, now let me tell you something. <laughs> I definitely think for entertainment purposes, Mama D is funny. However, in real life, you know what? It irks my nerves, the mothers that include themselves into their son's um, business or politics, okay? You know, one thing for sure, before I get into Bambi's response, is that mothers that play are so vocal in their son's situation normally know their sons ain't shit okay let's just say it they know their sons don't be shit however that's their son and they gonna stand with them so instead of just sitting on the sideline letting their son figure it out work it out okay and just being supportive of him on the sideline they like to get in the mix and then you know speak on situations like right now mama d is talking on rashida situation talking on her marriage talking on this but then if somebody cuss their ass out then they want to say oh you being disrespectful well you started the disrespect by jumping in the conversation again from an entertainment standpoint, it's definitely entertaining. But uh, I'm going to tell y'all my situation or what I've experienced myself, why I feel that way. But let's see what Bambi had to say. Now, this is what Bambi wrote on Instagram. She said, this was such a fun time of my life. Benzino was always hella cool with me. I think y'all just don't know how he looked. I know it's hard to fathom being able to date without having sex with people, but it's a real thing. In over 10 years, nobody has seen me with anyone other than the person I was married to. So I'll never let a bitch with loose teeth or the internet make me feel bad for living my life. This weird ass lady is obsessed with me. Where was the energy for my mom when she was beating the brakes off your ass? Talk about that. Pure example of a bitch getting her ass beat and still won't shut up. Pills, liquor, and the internet is a volatile cocktail. I'ma let the blogs grab this since you need some attention. Next time that two fall out, roll it up and smoke it, holiday heart, deleting soon. Whoa. <laughs> okay let me tell you and i will say bambi is in fact right in what she said and what she's doing now do i know if all that is true no however mama d opened that door for a clap back period now let's just take it to real life i'm gonna be honest with y'all okay respectfully in my real life i match energy okay i don't care how old you are i don't care who you are if you are cordial with me and we have a disagreement, guess what? I will be cordial back. Now, I'm not big on name calling. I will get there, but I'm not big on it. I'll tell you all right. I'm trying to be respectful, ma'am. But um, I'm going to need for you to bring it down a notch, okay? Now, I have had a mother-in-law that to this day, we are cool. 
like I can see her, talk to her, and it's always love the whole family, right? Um, like it's never been an issue. I can't tell you a time where it was ever any type of disrespect on either end. Okay, now she definitely will tell you what it is, but never in a disrespectful way. And I've known her almost half my life, and I give her the utmost respect. Okay, and although her son ain't shit, and definitely wasn't shit when I was with him. Um, <laughs> she is still always gave me love and respect now i have had a mother-in-law where and you know i'm not gonna put half my current mother mother-in-law right um i'm gonna say we are the type of situation where we kind of on a agree to disagree type of situation we don't really have conversation solo in the beginning it was a toxic situation, and I was that one to stand up and say, yo, I don't care who mama you is. Well, you're not going to do is disrespect me, okay? Now, what you feel with your son is you and your son business, but you are not the woman of this house, so you don't have nothing to say over here. You wait till your son to come to your house, and y'all can have a big kumbaya if you want to, but you're not going to disrespect me. Now, again, we got to the point where... For the sake of her son and my husband, we're cordial, okay? Hey, how you doing? Cool. Hey, how you doing? We may even chit-chat, but outside of that, that's that. Now, fast forward to disagreements. My mother-in-law is the type to jump into the situation, okay? Now, again, I'm going to say what I feel, especially when it's going on in my house. I'm definitely going to say, but I will do the, pre, the pre-warning, the pre like, okay, ma'am, <laughs> I get what you're saying and how you're feeling but what you're not gonna do is check me about nothing that goes on where you don't pay no bills okay now again when it comes to me and my husband disagreements i wish he would say anything about his mama because then it's gonna be uh fuck you and your mama at that point and i'm being honest and i feel guess what for those who may be wondering i will be open for him to say it vice versa because one thing about my parents and rest in peace to my mother she is no longer here but when she was here it never was a situation where it was disrespect to my husband okay my mama definitely gonna tell it how she feel but when it came to like sh shit that didn't have nothing to do with her per se and it was more so just outside looking in that was a conversation we had outside of the scope it never was anything directed at him however his mom is not like that his mom is like yo i'm jumping in it this is a three-way marriage okay <laughs> and i don't appreciate that and that's where it becomes an issue now my dad and my husband has a great relationship okay almost too great sometimes i'll be kind of like what the fuck <laughs> but even then you know what i'm saying He's not going to cross that line. My dad will tell, tell anybody, quit. I don't have nothing to do. That's their marriage, okay? Now, if it comes to a, a point where he needs to say something, then it'll be a whole different situation. But it never got to that point. My dad just let it be what it is. He'll try to be a neutral ground and let us work it out. So, I say this again from experience that I don't see nothing wrong with Bammy clapping back at Mama D, okay? Um personally for entertainment i don't see nothing wrong with what mama d said but at the same time if you open that gate then you open that gate i don't see how anybody feels like because of the age or because of who that person is to your significant other like you supposed to have a mute tag on it now if you want to go there then we gonna go there okay because one thing about it hey you ain't got to cuss somebody out to get your point point across y'all ain't never heard the term nice nasty okay because i am the master of that i will be nice nasty with your ass quick but i by all means are respectful of others because i always think about it i wouldn't want nobody to talk to my mother my grandmother like that or you know my dad like that however i am <laughs> able to say if my mother or my grandmother open that floodgate i'm not gonna be mad at you for clapping back however i'm gonna be on your ass when you clap back <laughs> okay but it's not to say i'll never say you were wrong for clapping back because i will say hey why did you even go there you know to each his own though some people endure it and say you know what because that's my husband's mother or because that's my wife's father or whatever i'm not gonna say nothing nah not mickey <laughs> mickey gonna talk it okay same man i'm gonna match that energy okay and i'm gonna tell you what the fuck that got to do with what's going on over here
I'm a I'm big on that. I don't care who you are. I am big on that. When it gets to a certain point and I feel like I'm about to be disrespectful, okay? Or if you call me out my name, I will still think about it before I reply. But my reply going to be like, I don't care what you saying. What the fuck that got to do with you? This my house. This my shit. This my marriage. You ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? So, and that's how I, I look at it. Now, some of y'all may be like, Mickey, that's so rude. Well, call it what it is. I'll take that. But, again, this is my truth. Of, hey, y'all already know Mickey Truth going to voice the truth. I would have been biased and fake if I would have came on here and act like I didn't agree or I don't do it. Hey, I will. I stand my ground, period. I don't care who it is. Now, again, name calling, I don't condone all that. Because at the end of the day, unless you just done it. Now, if you done with the situation, then fuck it. Call them a bag of bitches. I don't care. You get what I'm saying? But even when I'm done, I'm not going to do that because I wouldn't want nobody flaming up my mom or my grandma with those type of words. So I try not to. I don't even think it's a time I ever did it um, to anybody, you know, that I was dating, uh, and I for sure ain't never said it to my mother-in-law. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I never referred to her as nothing outside her name. Now, I'll t- say definitely she need to stay in her place. I've said that, but I've never called out her name. But, hey, to each his own, that's my truth for the matter. I appreciate y'all for pulling up for another episode of Mickey Truth, Voice of Truth. You already know when it's a topic that arise, y'all can expect an episode from me. Make sure you go over to my YouTube channel, Mickey Truth and subscribe, okay? Because the content be content in, okay? And also go to my website, MickeyTruth.com and get you some merch. So until the next episode, y'all already know what I'm about to say. Deuces!